All right, click history. Clicking enter on the top one. I'm going to pause it until it's done. All right, just got done. I'm going to go down to Suburban. And yes, it's got the, well, about the same, but I just click yes, enter on the first one. It uh, does not have tr the factory trailer brake. So, and then it is under 8600. It does have the leveling system. All that is correct. I'm gonna pause this until it's done. All right, then I'm gonna go down to control modules. Click enter. I'm gonna pause this until it's done. All right, we'll go engine control module. And we're gonna go down to special functions. Well, first we'll go to live data. And I think we'll do engine. I'm gonna pause this. Oh, we're already here. All right, and this is a list of things. So right here you'll see select all F1. We're gonna select all of these to look at. And then you hit F3 to say, okay, well, I want to look at all these things. And this is a list of live data. You can go down to alcohol content. I screwed up. Let's go down to fuel system. I just press back and then click fuel system. And do the same thing. Click all of them. Yeah, right there you can see fuel alcohol content. Click OK. Go down. Fuel alcohol content right there is at 3%. So if I understand that correctly, we're running 87 octane gas in this. So that is correct, it's 3% ethanol. So, I think that's how that is, is uh, I think that's correct. But anyway, that's what you want is 3% because it's running right now and I just reset it. Uh, before that, it said 50%. So, but anyway, so every time go in there and just double check what that is. So again, that was under fuel system. So when we got here, yeah, I just went to live data and then press the arrow down to fuel system. Click enter. And then you can either go down and select to view it or select all, and that's where it brought up that um, fuel alcohol content. Arrow down to it. And that's just to view it. Now to reset it, I'm hitting back, go down to special functions, and go down to fuel composition reset. hit OK and hit F1 
So actually, you can whatever you can skip the step beforehand, but it's already recorded. So, oh well, F1. And that reset it, so everything's back to normal. Okay, it should be good to go. You can unplug it and make sure you plug this thing back in.